Well, morning, Dale. So morning. On a cold and snowy day. We'll turn to that a bit later. Turn it now. Honestly, I've had bigger doses of dandruff what's out there today. <laughs> and I get out there, kids doing it for going to school or not. People doing it for going there and all the rest of it. Honestly, isn't it ridiculous, eh? Absolutely ridiculous. The schools and work and I close. The schools in Waltman Cobham are close. It's, it's kills the morning, but there's no way the mills are clear. Was the mills not clear for you? No, they were fine. Absolutely fine. Right, one, of, one of my sons is a primary, uh, an infant school teacher in Gotham, and he's at work today. His school. That's exactly. He should be at school. You know, I'm saying the kids are small off school here, and see, he's at school there. And you're blinking um, his uh, school words off and all that. You know, you're thinking, how's it off? How's it off school? And that's ridiculous. But I can see okay, and I come out tomorrow. There's a letter out at Oxford on Oxford City's um, Ian Dyer's sent a text out Oxford City are getting volunteers to get the snow off their pitch. Uh, it should be fine tomorrow, which is great. Get yeah. the game on. Interestingly, going back to my son very briefly, that Godalming College, which is sixth form only, is next door pretty much to his infant school, and yeah. they're closed. That's it, I know. And the Teachers infant school's open. Is that right? So your son's school's closed? No, it's open. Oh, wait, well, your son's all right. He's just popped out digging in the other ones, doing yeah. digging. Typical. Yeah. Honestly, so we were getting texts last night uh, off lads and things like all night saying, is training on? Is that on? Of course it's on. You know what I mean? So it's unbelievable. So it's, um, honestly, you've got to go to Gearside for a couple of weeks. Yeah. It's worse than it's worse than in Gator than June, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> uh, so no yeah. All right. Um this time last week you said the week before was your most horrendous <laughs> week in football. How's this week been? Mm. <laughs> the chest, do you have a good question to start with? <laughs> um I it's um I'm having a bit of a time on it and I realise that it's it's not gonna go hunky dory from dear when I get the job to to now being second top of the league. Um, I, I think I'm having a time. People are looking at me for answers. I sense that. You know, it's when you need your mum. You know, is there any woman in the whole world who can help you out in this situation? Because as your manager, it's a lonely job when you're like this. And the only one in the whole world is your mum. Where she, if she was here, like now sitting here, no, then she'd be saying, "Don't worry, Alan. Don't worry, Dose. You'll be alright." You know what? You know. Nobody says that when you're in a first while a minute where I've lost matches, or a match, a yeah, match, and didn't play very well at all, which would have been, to be honest. I've lost players. They crossed my He's had a reaction, and um, we thought he'd be alright, and the medical people thought he'd be alright, and wasn't. Heidi's got another week to go. Um, we, obviously, Harry Taylor got dragged back in the circumstance, but I, I was like, you know, was Matt had a desire he wanted to go to Bill of Vicky, and I'm like, that if he want to go, you go. Something like that. Lewis obviously went back under the cloud and, and, and things like that. We've, um, we, we've tried to say a couple of people, as you know, and Obviously, um, the news last night was for, uh, five o'clock. I'm ringing two of the heads there on the motorway at a train saying, Yeah, well, you know, when it's finished, I'll bring Forrest and David House and get yourself down and brilliant and all that, you know. And halfway through training, it's come, news has come in, and which is great for the kid. And we've had Jim Heads there on, thanking all the people who had two Beyonce and he's absolutely loved it. Thanking yourself and all for the photographs and everything that's went with it. Thanking the supporters and everybody and thought it was a fantastic journey. And um, so, uh, coming away last night, you, you, again, they're looking and, you know, the bottom line is, when I feel as though I'm in, in this and I've been in it a long time and won championships, you probably have got a cordon off really because nobody really wants to get a hold of you and say, come on, you'll be all right. You've got to do it yourself. So I'm very motivated myself as, as a bloke, you know, because uh, I, I see little eyes looking at us and I see people looking at us at different doubts what we're going to do here. That thing hasn't worked out. That one we, we thought we had, we couldn't get. We thought we had another one coming in before Saturday we didn't. He's went somewhere else for a bit more money, I think. So uh, the bottom line is when it's like that, you still got the right things to you. Like, Yesterday, uh, you still go to Kingsfield School to do assembly, which you promised to do, and all that, you know. We're going up at Mottail's coming short, we're going up at, at the hospice, we're supporting that, we do things like that. I had a great meeting with Paul Bain, Bainham, um, I hope I spelled that right, um, which was fantastic, and all that, you know, um, about helping out, and wants to do these quiz nights and all that. We, we also have Sam Loxton came in, and there's always a help, and wants to help out, um, you know, massively, which he has done since I've known the fella. He's been fantastic for him, and all that, you know, and stuff like that. You still get lovely pictures sent. From send yeah, about the coaching things we've done. The the um obviously the legends night which we're working very hard on. We've only got a, probably a table left, twelve places left um, for thirty five pound. But we've got twenty places for ten pound if you just want to come for a drink and not have anything to eat and listen to the talk and all that. You know, so um that, that's come and see me, Adrian. I think you're going to get on the, in the program on the website, which is fantastic. Um, the, the, the obviously the breakfast evening is still going ahead. Just because I've lost a game of football, I'll not change what I am or what change what I do. But I told the players, um, to be honest, that 
we're looking at everybody else after this big cup game and being the best ever and so is everybody I can sense everybody's thinking where do we go from now it's up to me to find answers you know like you know and that's what I'm doing at the minute that's what I'm at my desk for and to see what's out there how can I improve that side how can I improve a football club nothing changes because when you do it for a bad time or a badish time when you get your good times it's already in place a lot of people have a bad result and get a bit of pressure from uh, out, out in if you like because I'm used to it I think I'll deal with it quite well, but you do, they even trained last night, it's someone like, they're looking at you, everybody, what are you going to do with those? No, I've got to find answers, the players are not a problem, the players are on it, I thought last night, but when it gets a performance like it was against Wheels, and when you went, come on and let's have you, and that's what we had done to us, you're best off being it, because if we're put on the television, or I'm trying to justify the performance, then I'm lying to the supporters because I can't justify that. The players can't either. We're not into apologies and all that rubbish, you know, and stuff like that because it's ridiculous. But we are after to get better all round, and I think that's what we're striving to do, me included. But I've got to leave it there. I've got to leave it there. I, I, I don't hide behind anything and need cameras and out like that. I, I try to front it and I know what people are thinking around the club has been a lot quieter in my life this week, a lot less enthusiastic from everybody on the outside because what happened in the last two weeks with players as well and not saying him and not getting him. I'm well aware where I am, so I've got to do something about it. Right, um, again this time last week, you said the Wheelstone manager will have them fired up and they'll be competitive. That was a fairly good prediction, wasn't it? I thought they just battered, didn't we? Like I say, we, we came um, with a game plan. We tried to have two wingers as we like, one the whole as we like, so it's a tack and four. And I thought, you know, and um, we, we tried to say, let's not go up in the air and uh, let, let's go and enjoy the game, play football and get the footballers out there. It wasn't a game for that, to be honest, because he yeah, didn't. Do that with. I thought the centre forward was a massive difference between the two sides. I thought their centre forwards got behind our two centre halves and our full backs every other opportunity where we couldn't get one in. We wanted to play a player and every now and again get it in behind so we can actually get in there good. But their centre forward done it all the time. But again, if you watch the videos which we analysed and you watch the goals we conceded and all that, you know, and stuff, I think I was critical of the back four in the last two games. Um, because we, you know, but it was the same back four. We kept a clean sheet against Swindon, and it's the same back four. What against, um, you know, Torquay. So there's nothing wrong with back four. So we've had two bad days out of the office. The quicker we get over that, and we go keep having better. And um, so I thought we had played. I'm not saying the conditions at talk. I'm not making any excuses on the pitch or anything like that. Um, Colin does a great job, and um, you know, uh, with uh, not able to uh, get the ball out wide and not able to uh, pass it. I think we have played the conditions a bit better than us, and um, and deserve to win the game. But if we had scored in the second half, we would have won the game. If we had scored early in the second half, we would have won it. A little shot here, a little save there. It just needs that. We need everybody's help at the minute. The players do. Like, listen, I keep on saying come to me because I'm a manager, but I think the players, they're, they're thinking about, you know, because I believe it happened last year, is that right? He got knocked out the FA Cup, the FA Trophy, Sub Machine Cup in a week, then he got relegated. Before that, the, the mood was quite high. Yeah, yeah. We've done a bit better than that, we have. And all that, you know, and it's only one game, um, of course, but I can sense a little bit of nervousness around the players a little bit from people. I understand that. I can sense them, I get me decisions right. I'll only be judged at the end of the season because um, I don't tell all about budgets and things like that. So, uh, the bottom line is, um, you know, it's a quite exciting really, and I quite enjoy being in this position because, like you say, like when you leave here today, I'll get one or two people popping in, but it can become a very lonely job because people don't want to talk to you as much as they did before the Watford game. And they say, so, I've got to deal with that. And um, where's a full time outfit down at Torquay or you know, the money, what the top five are plowing into it, you know, because um, some cracker jack your idea said, well, Dose, you must have roughly 10 grand to spend. And I'll not see how disrespect the ball that your budget is, but I'm thousands below that, absolutely thousands. Mm -hmm. So um, it just shows you what, but where, where you know, I, I, the support the support of the board, the board all is all right with me, and the, you know, this helped us out with the car. And on Sunday, Kelvin took it all up to Chelsea to watch Chelsea play and had a meal and all that and got out the systems quite quick. So I appreciate that. And the idea of Curtis Martin Taylor and Matt Wall had a Mark McKit, man, it was great up there. So I do appreciate everybody's help, but yeah, we got to win games and I'll never hate it. So, yes, I had a couple of bad weeks, I suppose, and it gets a bit, you know, but it's my job to motivate myself because as a manager, you saw like people saying, you'll be all right, Dose, and I'll probably get that anyway, but as a manager, you've got to motivate yourself and you've got to motivate. So all these things I've talked about, about the tall bad, about the, the stuff and all the rest of it, you've got to do it anyway. Even if it's like, like sometimes you wake up in the morning thinking, Oh God, I've just been beaten. I've got you've got to do it. You've got, I've got to do these laps on the pitch for to help Kane out and Kane hasn't asked that any money. It's not Kane, it's to help Kane plus a couple of others, to be honest, with rehab and all that's not all about the runs surrounding Kane, but you know, there's Max Krasma who's needs some rehab stuff, so he's gonna be spot on. I don't want him breaking down every two minutes, same as Heidi, so uh, same as Christian, so we're all just trying to help out. So um, once you stop doing them things, that's the day I'll leave. And um, I wanna to try to just crack on. So it's quite exciting, but 
It is a lonely, a lonely place. So while well, you, you mentioned the, the 250 laps, no. that just sounds horrific just saying oh, that. Oh, I know. Um, that starts on Monday, doesn't it? Oh, I, I, I want Taylor said last night, he said, oh, Dose, I'd rather give you a two grand and you do it because you'd be shattered. I thought, I thought you'd flick and tell us before I actually said I would do it. It's not a week on Monday, then it's a week on is Monday. It a week Monday? Oh, a week Monday, yes. I hope it is. I, I, um, I went to the gym the other day and I blew up there and um, I, oh, dear, like, oh, I'll do it and all that. But it's like you see, it, it, it got me to clear up. Kian has an ask for this. Like, they, like Christian, if I do an ask, it was just in the, the not financially struggling. It's just maybe we are trying to protect the club against the player, but against the, and just trying to help with rehab so the club hasn't got a horrendous bill coming in and all of that. Then, if I'm fair with Kian, I'm fair with Christian, I'm fair with Max Cosmo, nobody can come in. What, what maybe it's happened in the past where the demand to get paid to 52 weeks a year, the demand that nobody gets paid 52 weeks a year now. Mm. Uh, it's only 40 weeks to be honest, um, all the players. And then um, all the little things were adjust. So that's what we've got to do. But we've got to crack on. I hope the supporters will come tomorrow flying because um, we need them tomorrow. We need everybody tomorrow. The players need me. And um, we've got to move on. And uh, um, you, you can go and you can analyse it, you can. And I can, as you know, I'm trying to, I believe I got a play up in Monday. I knew it was Bradley last Monday and they didn't get announced till later, which is fine. That could be me because. Even though I've signed them, you, you, Jeff's got to put it into the league, and league got to send it back and all. And after seeing for centre forward, which I think people's clogged on to who we're going to sign this Monday. But uh, the problem is, we we are, um, you know, we, we, you can sign these players. You can do different things on the training ground. I watched training very carefully last night to see who was up for it and who, you know, is lacking a bit of confidence if you like or a bit of belief. Which it's tough doing that when where we are on the table. But that's what players do when they heard that massive high. They're getting watched by millions. I know exactly where we are. But the population can do it, and you can get your, your coaching staff looking at you, you can get your um, people looking at you. Uh, but if you get three points, it changes, uh, it changes everything. Um, these things, the top of it comes more excitement. The the sort that comes, oh, I can't wait to turn up for that. The runs I'm doing, oh, 50 laps, that's a doddle. But when you're on the lure or you lose a game, just for about one game, it can try to drag you down a bit. But I refuse to let it beat us, so I'm, I've got to be upbeat in myself and there. Uh, and um, w whatever happens, three points will change who are mentality, everything. You know, sure. we win tomorrow, Torquay get beat up East Fulwick, everybody's thump for Dorford. We lose tomorrow, we have it but it's football, it's cutting out, so you just got to be strong enough. But I've been in a long time, and um, nobody can say I can't hold me nerve because I've won three championships, and I've been in this position where I remember a few years ago when I was a um, Hampton manager, you remember we were bottom of the league and we went to the top of the league, and whew, it's close us in bog now, and we've got a whack 4 1 at Kingstonian. And I remember everybody saying, 4 1 against Kingston in my ex club. That's it now. We went on to win the next five, six, seven, draw and one and won a championship. It can change like that, but there's not so much to belief. You just got to win a game of football. That's what you got to do. Sure, sure. And having some new faces will, should be helpful with that, uh, not least because they weren't in, involved in the cup run, didn't have anything to do with that. So they haven't either got a hangover or yeah. maybe a slightly inflated opinion of themselves or anything like that. I'm not suggesting anyone has. Just yeah. that it's a possibility. Right. So you've got, you've got uh, Bradley coming, you've got personality yeah. about him and all that you know and stuff like that he has. Um, you know, uh, Lou and the Astro too, I think they'll do well. They, they've done pretty well. They've done, uh, so we ain't a problem. <clears throat> we ain't a problem at all. Um, where you're looking all that you know, and so Williamson, you know, it wasn't sort of his pitch if you like on Saturday, and maybe he's going to ask for, you know, because he, he loves to run up people and we couldn't do it, you know. But if you look at the goalkeeper in the back four, they've done unbelievable at heaven. You know, Hate scored goals, he's just got to get more games out of Hate, do not you know, he's, he's been injured a lot, so if we can get more games out of Hate, he's done bloody well. Um, you know, Luan the last couple of weeks has done in a case, so has Hodgie, and the midfield two are outstanding coming up, and of course we'll miss Ed's down there a little bit, and you know, people said, you know, dear, when I was in the board in the back, somebody said, oh well, you, you shouldn't have changed this year. We didn't change the shape at all. We haven't changed the shape for the last 25 games. We haven't changed, you know, different personnel and horses, but we've never changed the shape. You know, like when we're Ed, Hodgie just took Ed Shaw's place in there, we didn't, haven't changed any shape. So we should watch the game a bit more. But you kind of get that when you lose games. But if you look at it, you know, the hangover, I mean, it was always going to take a little while. I could sense that against Welling as a football club to get over a hangover. But you never got over it last season. So that'd be a worry of people in the club. You never got over it last season. And um, yeah. because I, if you had got over it last season, I wouldn't be sitting here now. So uh, nobody got over a cup hangover last season. It's just important that we have. And, you know, we've bounced back by winning 5 0 year and 8 with the young lads in it as well. And some performances, which, you know, I thought, um, you know, um, well, I, tell you, I thought Gale played well. I thought Spence played well for me, you know. I thought Hodgie was the best player on the pitch by a million miles. And they had to take him off. And, um, you know, next 
time we might just give it to you under 20 fees because it ain't a, a priority so you see I've got, I've got to make that clear but it is a game of football where you know we've got to win matches and all that you know so it's no different so it's um but you know if, if we're going to have an official pile on if you like then i'll just let our under 20 fees play against their under 20 fees that's what i'll do so i'm not using that as an excuse to you know, the Sully Senior Cup, because it, it means no to me, to be honest, I'm being honest, it means absolutely diddly squat to me these days, because back in the day when I was at Rosby, it was massive, but now, people are putting their under 20 fees in it, you know, we've played two teams, you know, where we should win quite comfortable, so, uh, it, it, but the league means everything to us, and it means more than the FA Cup to me, and it means more than the trophy to me, because that's where you'll be judged, so that's where we let it try to be judged, so, we look forward to it. I'll keep on smiling and then keep on laughing. We'll be working this afternoon and um, going to hospice. I'll be looking at these player situations. What can I do um, to, to kick what on? And we just need a spot from somewhere because 80% of the team spot on. 80%. Can I find that 20% that we did with Lewis up coming in? Can I find someone to get us one year to do? It could be already there with Bradley and Williamson in there. <clears throat> Let's find out more. And. Uh... You, you mentioned briefly uh, the possibility, if, or is it probability, of, of someone signing on Monday? I believe the deal's done. Right. Personally, I don't want to see a game because Bradley was done on Saturday night. Yes. But by the time we put the forms in, which Jeff had to do and get the yeah. forms back, so it was probably my fault saying it's done. And it's the same with the centre forward or come where he played. I think he, um, you know, he scored bundles of goals in this league and his fitness is fine now. So. Uh, <clears throat> I think but, you're definitely giving away. Oh, of course. <laughs> but, but if he's saying for somebody else tomorrow, then I've got to accept that, don't I? But yeah, I yeah. believe everything's organised and sorted and all that, you know, and stuff like that. Um, um, and I believe that will uh, happen on Monday and I think right. it's done. But once something doesn't get done, but at five o'clock, I thought Edsa was done. So yeah, yeah. there's nothing wrong with it. You know, it goes on all the time. People are going for players. I'm any different. I, I, I try to get this um, set and a half of what I've worked in with before, and I'm still really trying hard on that one. If I get him. That's a one to be honest, mm. okay, and all that you know. Then if we can get the another Lewis have in, if, if Bradley's the answer, William's the answer, fair play. If Wheeler's the answer, fair play. Him. But we need, because um, you, where you look at players, where managers, I try not make any excuses there, but I, I try to speak to four players. Say, yeah, I'm a very demanding bloke. We had arguments in the change room, which you do. It's a very healthy change room, fantastic. All this has been, and there's nobody bigger than the club and all of us. But I like a little bit of argument at times, and people effing and this and effing and just whatever. But even when you're trying to put your own players a bit, which I've done this week with four or five people, and say, listen, on Saturday, they'll say, oh, well, I didn't get the ball, and I didn't do this, and somebody just needs a player like Josh Casey, who's sitting in the local press, like, oh, I did, we were crap, we were useless, end of. That's fine, isn't it? That's, that's going to happen once a season. It's only happened twice. We were, we were, um, we fought, we lost four games against, uh, we didn't deserve to get beat against Dulwich. What well, excellent, the first half at Wheels and just got beat up in the second half in the last minute penalty. And all you know, and against Bath City in this one, what the two ones, what really being bad, apart from that, they've been very, very good, you know. So we'll keep on attacking teams, and it just needs players to actually stop making excuses and stop talking because players do love to talk. You know, I'm a good talker, as you gather, because it goes on for five hours every Friday, I think. <laughs> so, uh, and then um, just stop talking, get on with it. And I've got to stop talking as well and getting on results. And then, um, you know, it's, it, it, yeah, we're comping South Side, trying to do the best we can in the league. A very competitive league, but we've got to win football matches. 17 to go in it. Let's win 17 games. That's what we've got to do. Well, just keep talking for another couple of minutes. Right. Um, specifically, let's move to tomorrow's game. Yeah. Um, let, let, we're going to work on the assumption that it'll be on because it's Bigger. a 3G pitch and they put a plea out to yeah. clear it. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we'll, we'll also assume that the car parks and walkways and everywhere will be safe. And so the right. game will go ahead. Yeah. Is this a good or a bad time to play them, given what happened to them last Saturday, losing 7-2? To <laughs> but, uh, but that's what goes on in the game. Like, you know, you go, um, was it, um, you were dear slow girl at Villa Vicky or whatever, and got everybody caught in a car and had to play reserves and all that, you know, and obviously Villa Vicky beat them and you think, oh, God, and all that, you know. You're, you're looking at Torquay, um, he's having three or four players out last week going down to Torquay and, you know, the back tomorrow, I gather, and all that, you know, you think, oh, that's bloody typical, <laughs> isn't it? But that's football, I'd say, like, because you can actually, if you read what you want to read, it'll drive you nuts, and, you know, they had the left back and right back, and I think they're playing tomorrow, the same two players now, because what happened last week, where we went down there last week, and even their manager, who's a bloody good manager, saying, oh, yeah, we're very under camp, they slow, went to Bill and Ricky, or a very, you know, who are obviously our rivals around there, and then um, never had a, really a team to put out because of traffic and all that. You can go absolutely nuts about it, but you can't do it. Now. So if it's ever a good time, bad time, let's get the game on. We've got to play them anyway. So we've had a bit of a drawn one lost one. It's not, you know, we lost one game since October. So we're in a better place than most in the league. Everybody's saying what a great run Torquay have been on. We haven't been that bad ourselves. 
we had lost last week and he had bounced back. We've got to do the same. We said, we're, people say, well, we've got hard games. We've got playing in, you know, um, Bath City away in Tokyo at home. And you're not going to win the league just by sitting here with 17 games ago. So uh, I, I'm thinking all the time, like even last night, I got out of bed with two o'clock in the morning to go downstairs and think. I am a thinker. What way can I put this team right again? What strategy can I use? Have I got to change my man management style a little bit for a little run in? Have the players got to change their playing? It's all little things you think, oh, but I've been doing it since I was, um, believe it or not, seven years old, and I've been in it for 41 years now, and I've done anything else in life. So I feel so now I'm doing So you never had a proper job? Though. Never had a proper job, like, like you, David. Eh? In fact, you're a school teacher. I bet you would have been off school today, wouldn't you? This bloody snow. That's why you were late this morning, because you couldn't get in. All right, so, all right, so never had a proper job. Never, um, you know, I, I, I haven't. I, we are look at it. It's been a privilege doing it, but. If you think about it 24-7, you know our players, you know the training ground, you know what you need. It's just trying to find the right thing. It's always been like that. And it's been like that in every club, you know, like, you know, and stuff like that. And every club have been up with one promotions. Why not here? Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, you, you say, rightly, um, the Torquay manager will be saying, not, sorry, not Torquay, the Oxford manager will be yeah. saying to them that they've got to bounce back. Well, you'll, you'll be saying the same to our players. So we're yeah. both... Both teams in the same position, so it'd probably right. be an eight-all draw. I'd say that. I'd say that. No, we, 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 our record's been good um, on Ashford turf at Eastbourne, all like, you know, and slow. Um, so it's been very good. And, um, you know, there's has got a lot of these pellets in it and all that, you know, but you can make excuses before you get there. Um, you know, I think Gloucester went there a couple of weeks ago and won. They've had a bit of a battle last week, and it usually happens. They've been two or three in and two or three back, and they've got a centre forward who scores a lot of goals. and they like to pass the ball on their pitch and you know, see I think he's done a good job and the FA Cup one that went on was very good as well um, so uh, it's, it's a game we've got to attack it's a game we've got to win if we win on uh, 5 o'clock it will, will be a better place people are caught smiling again around me people will be coming back in the office around us and being smiley and all that you know and stuff like that so uh, it's um, thanks John so it's just one of them where um, you know I'll, I'll say it again Any, anybody who gets beaten football they'll, they'll look at the manager chairman will look at the manager the committees will, the supporters will, the coach and staff will, the players will, I've got that completely. And you look at them sometimes you think, come on in, what do you think? You know, but it's just like that, all because be like that. So, uh, you know, nothing really in yourself can go, so it's up to me to lead the attack if you like, and that's what I'll be doing tomorrow, and start with the supporters, so it gets like that. Absolutely, it's part of the job, isn't it? Of course it, it is. It's, it's always the manager that carries the can. And it should and be. the players get all the glory when yeah. it goes around. <laughs> that's what I think. That. But it should be, the players should look at it, the coach and staff should, and the, they should, there's no problems here. Um, Nick Sia, I'm very well with chairman here. There's no problems with her. She's very supportive, to be honest, um, on the, um, the board. Um, Martin Ian are as well. And, uh, but you'll look at me and all and say, what are you going to do about it, those? And um, that's what people do. Because if not, football will be a horrible game. If you want to fall out with anybody, go and join a football club. It's fantastic we have fallout with people. Honestly, it's great. You love people, but when you lose a game of football, you hit a lot of them. You're doing, uh, there's a big saying that you'll kick your granny to win a game of football and you'll hurt her as well. And um, I'm a big believer in that as well. And um, so that's where we are. We'll, uh, we'll move forward. Right, excellent. Looking forward to tomorrow. Let's hope we get the uh, demonstrate some bounce back ability to use that wonderful word. I kind of say that word, so I'll, I'll take it from you, David. That's good stuff. So <laughs> let's do that. But let, look forward. But please come support us. Please get behind when we need you. I thought the supporters were very good Saturday. Um, it really was, and we didn't give nothing to shout about. And because that starts season, we keep going the goal down. We need the supporters to help them um, get through this line of seventeen games. And why can't we win them all? I'll keep on saying it. So we'll certainly have a good tomorrow. Absolutely. Thanks very much. Magic. Welcome.